Hi guys, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. I had to come on here today and let you know about the magnificent score just got at Value Village. Okay, that's a thrift store in Canada. Um, it is for profit, so they do sell new things as well, but um, they do take in donations and pay Diabetes Canada, etc. So, we always go in and have a look when we're in town, just because you never know what's there, right? That changes all the time. If you see a deal, you have to score it right away, because if you say to yourself, oh, I think I'll think about that one and come back, it'll be gone, <laughs> okay? So when we spotted this, we had to jump on it right away. <laughs> uh, got an iRig mic. Okay, microphone. A handheld microphone for iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and Android devices. So, phones and pads of Android um, OS um, as well. So, it's not just for Apple products. They do have apps for Android. Um, but I have watched a lot of these videos on YouTube and in the comment section of almost everyone, can I use this on my computer? Can I use this on my Mac? Can I use this on, you know, it's like, no, no, this is meant to be mobile. This is a, um, a mic for uh, shooting videos with your tablet. Uh, you can hook it up to your tablet's uh, sound jack here. Look, for your headphones. Okay, that's the jack it goes on. Um, it is one eighth inch and it has a pass through. Uh, so you can plug in your earbuds or your headphones one eighth inch um, as well and monitor the sounds that the microphone is picking up so that you can adjust it on the fly um, and make a good recording. Okay, now this is the iRig mic. It is a current selling model and we were in Long and McQuaid, uh, same, same city uh, here in Canada, and it is a current selling model that is $79.99, so $80 Canadian. And so when we found this <laughs> at Value Village, yeah, you guessed it, $2.99. Um, if you saw the thumbnail, you know already, $2.99 for an $80 mic, <laughs> okay? Um, now, at the time, we had no way of testing it, no way of knowing for sure, so it was a $3 gamble, but it paid off big time, okay? This has, um, it's a solid, it's metal housing, um, metal headpiece okay so this is not any lightweight stuff this is quality built it is put out by IK Multimedia who also created apps to use with it obviously uh, but there are lots more apps as well that will work with this it's just in this little booklet thing IK Multimedia uh, promotes the ones that they built, okay? The apps that they made on the bottom here. Uh, this little quick start guide is just as you see it, okay? It's this, this long for English. That's it. <laughs> the rest of this is seven different <laughs> languages. So six plus the English. So, um... Yeah, it's, it's worldwide. We have English, we have uh, Spanish, French, Dutch, um, Italian, and I think it's Chinese and Japanese. Um, I don't speak those languages, so I can't really tell you for sure. 
but that's what it looks like to me. And it is a quick start guide. It's by no means all of it. Uh, you can um, check out IK Multimedia's website for uh, more specifics on this. But this is just to get you going so that you can at least start using it. Um, the cable on this, the cord, which is permanently attached, this doesn't come off, uh, is six and a half feet long. So it is plenty of a distance for you to get from your tablet. So they suggest this could be used for things like um, interviews, um, YouTube videos, uh, anything you want to record that you want good audio on. Uh, it is going to be better than your built-in mic on your phone, on your tablet. Those are, are not meant for this kind of quality. So you really need a handheld mic or some other mic option that will pick up audio much better, much clearer um, for your video. And it will record onto your iPhone or your iPad or your Android devices. It will record what picks up onto that device and then you have it uh, to use with your video. Um, okay, so it has uh, three uh, position gain switch or sensitivity switch. On the lowest setting, low intensity sound sources, uh, quiet sounds in general, long distance speech, lessons, lectures, ambient sounds. Just anything that's low volume, it, it gets it much more sensitive to pick up those sounds and it will react better to those sounds, okay? Medium intensity sounds or the middle of the switch is for things like interviews, medium intensity speech or singing, uh, medium intensity acoustic musical instruments, louder ambient noises, so not so quiet but not huge yet, um, close-up lectures, podcasts, and broadcasting. These are all things they could, this mic can be used for. The highest switch, uh, which is actually at the bottom, uh, is for high-intensity sound sources like loud, close singing, like live performances, uh, guitar amps, close, loud instruments, band rehearsals, drums, uh, close or overhead. Okay, now this needs to be set properly for the sound situation you're in, or you are going to get not only bad quality audio, but you are going to possibly get feedback. You're going to get too low and it won't pick it up properly. It has to be adjusted properly for the situation you're in. Now, the second part. <laughs> I want to show you what's inside here because a lot of people don't understand how microphones work. I can't tell you. I'm the sound uh, tech at our church and we have handheld mics for prayer that we uh, move throughout the congregation. And a lot of people just hold it in their hand way down and it's like, no, you need to speak into it. <laughs> they don't understand how to use a mic. There are different versions, different ways, but this is a front address mic. It is, the pickup is right here in the end. So you have to speak or sing right into the end of the mic at varying distances. The sides and behind the mic are naturally uh, canceled out, deflected, because there is no pickup around here to uh, confuse the mic or get into the recording. It is through the front only. Um, there is a built-in windscreen in inside that's a, like a foamy thing, which is great because it's, it's providing like a pop filter 
uh, effect to take all, all, all the hard pop sounds and the p -p -p breath when you're talking and speaking and singing into this mic and it is protecting it still because it's inside the metal uh, casing here on the head so this won't get damaged or ripped or lost it's all inside within here and it's a fine thread so be very careful when you screw and unscrew this that you don't cross thread things but it is a very solid mic like you know there's a mic in your hand <laughs> Now, for the second part of this video, and will be no time for you because it'll be done in editing, um, I'm going to switch the camera to focus on the tablet I have here. It's an iPad, it's 6th gen, but uh, even my 7th gen iPad has uh, headphone access. Anything, any device that has the 1 8 inch uh, headphone access should be able to use this mic okay uh, I also have a set of Apple earbuds with the 1 8 inch headphone jack in it and it just clicks in like so so I can monitor what the microphone is picking up and adjust the app properly so that the sound is properly uh, put in there so stay tuned instant for you and I'll go and uh, fire up the app uh, and show you how this microphone works and how it sounds more importantly the sounds you'll hear when I'm using the app are the only the ones that are input through the microphone I will cancel out all of the um, audio coming from my uh, Sony Handycam here. Um, I'll, I'll strip out that audio and only use what comes from the mic so you can hear the difference because right now you're hearing it from my camera and when we go to the app it will only be from the microphone. Stay tuned, instant for you. Okay, here we are. I have it hooked in to the iPad 6th gen. And you need to know that if you have a case like a OtterBox, um, you need to remove the case because you don't have clear access to the headphone port. Like it's there, but it's not going to take this bulky um, connector. Okay, it's, it's quite large. And it's not going to fully connect if you have a case in the way. So you need access to the hole clearly like that. So you can cl click, plug it in, and it's solid. Okay, I have... I have two apps downloaded. Um, I just simply went to the App Store because it's an iPhone, uh, iPad. Um, if you have an Android device, you'll go to your Google Play to download the apps for this mic. Um, I downloaded Vocal Live and iRig Recorder. Now, for brevity of the video, so that I'm not here all night. <laughs> We're just going to go through iRig Recorder um, because that's the simplest um, app to use for just straight out recording. Vocal Live has um, stomp boxes and all kinds of different musical stuff that would not apply to me personally. Um, mine would be more for interviews and podcasts and just speaking okay so on the quick start guide I told you IK multimedia will promote their own and one of them is vocal live free amplitude free and iRig recorder free okay now these are free programs but they have limited functionality unless you pay for them in-app purchases that's how they get you guys. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so other than that, let's let's go ahead. Um, here's a close up of the uh, sensitivity switch on the mic itself. Three positions. Uh, fully up is the lowest position, the most sensitive. Then the middle is just that, the middle. And the bottom switch position is the loud one. That's for like bars and big venues and loud noises. So I'm going to start on the middle position. I'm going to fire up iRig recorder. You have two um, things you can adjust. You press the headphones and you can adjust how much uh, signal goes through to your headphones so you're not blasted out. Hello, 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 hello. Speaking, speaking into the microphone. This is the middle position and I'm adjusting the headphone uh, sensitivity. Hello, much louder. Wow, that's a lot of sound going through to the headphones. There we go. That's about midway and that's comfortable listening. So we um, press on the headphones again and it switches to the microphone reception. Okay, this is on the app. You've already got it on the middle position on the mic itself. Now the app needs to know how closely to listen to the mic. So I have moved the slider to about midway because it is midway on the mic. So let's try this sliding otherwise. Hello, hello. Very much louder. And the signal now is starting to get into the yellow zone. Hello, 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 hello. Very loud now. Very loud coming through to the headphones. And this is the low and it's not quite picking it up uh, enough to push it through to the headphones. About middle is about right. So, in other words, the, the uh, switch on the app should be corresponding to the switch on the mic. Okay, now that that is set, <clears throat> excuse me for that, okay, a frog in my throat here. Uh, there are settings also on the app that you can use. Touch the cog wheel at the bottom and you'll see recording settings pop up and you get mono channel because this is one track, it's one thing. <laughs> so um, if you're using a multi-channel interface, select the input channel here. We're only using the mic as an input, so there you go. Uh, audio quality is high. I want high audio quality, it's a wave file that you'll get and it's 48 kilohertz to 24 bit. It is a 24 bit signal. So it's good. It's really good. <clears throat> okay. Video quality is high. Um, front facing camera is 1280 by 720. The rear facing is 1920 by 1080. That is the selection for video quality that I've chosen. <clears throat> wow. I don't know. My throat's clogging up on me. Sorry. <laughs> on up here where the three lines are on the top right, if you touch that, you can go to your account. Uh, you can go to the store to buy extra goodies for this app. Um, there are settings here for latency uh, low latency set to ultra low for minimum delay between what the microphone picks up and what you hear when real-time monitoring is enabled so, uh, set to low if you hear clicks or pops 
um, auto record I that's set to off if you set it to on to allow iRig recorder to automatically start recording as soon as the app is opened now some situations you might want that on but I, I want it off um, auto sleep <clears throat> auto sleep is off enables to save battery during long play sessions disable it if you hear clicks or pops background audio is off enable this to allow the audio output from iRig recorder to continue when the app is running in the background playback follow on enable to allow your view to f allow your view to follow the playhead during playback disable this if you want your view to be unaffected by the playhead so there are those settings that you can adjust now let's um, try to do some recording and let's adjust the microphone from medium where it is right now to low and then high and see how it relates to recording press record press record okay it's recording now into the app it is set on medium as I told you uh, on the microphone and the adjustments that I made for the mic and for the headphones in the app now let's adjust the mic switch to the low position that is the super sensitive one let's adjust that now that is very very sensitive the microphone now is really really picking this up massively so I need to adjust this down so that it doesn't overwhelm the mic and uh, record too much sound into the app you can get away with whispering and it will pick up the noise so that is what this setting is for something quieter okay let's go to the loud one the highest hello hello now the mic is set to low now we need to shift it up so that it will pick it up <coughs> hello 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 now the waveform is huge you can much much louder and it won't overwhelm the mic and yet it adjusts to the sound coming into the mic testing testing one two three one two three and it is just picking it up just fine so this would be loud this would be good for a loud venue um, extreme noise uh, it would be properly adjusted for that kind of situation okay back to middle position now you can hear the microphone is picking up way too much sound we need to adjust it back down so it's proper uh, for this kind of situation so there you go that's how that works and it this is a lot of fun <laughs> um, so that was my little um, score video for the value village 299 299 for this mic that that you buy in a store for brand new for 80 bucks okay in the store you would get a carry case for your mic uh, which is no big I can find something to put this mic in and you would get a mic uh, clip that fits on a standard microphone stand so that's about all you get in the box for the 80 bucks that and the mic of course okay um so for the two pieces i'm missing out of the box i don't care <laughs> for three dollars instead of 80 this was a deal and a half everything functions properly so uh thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye for now